Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday. It's actually a downpouring here in Indiana. So on this channel, I love to take you to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the entire week so I can show you what is new and what to look out for. I give you some measurements here and there and also give you some ideas on DIYs. I also do Dollar Tree hauls and I also do other stores as well. And I always include my three pups at the very end. So today I am taking you with me to two of my Dollar Trees. The first one's going to be located on Maysville Road, which is over 13,000 square feet and by far my favorite Dollar Tree of all time. And I also am taking you to the one on Thomas Road, which is located here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I am once again blown away on these adorable items they have been carrying for just a dollar. So I hope you all enjoy these two trips and I will see you at the Dollar Tree. All right, starting off with some Christmas items. Look at this gnome sign. It is a 10 by 10. They also have these cute little countdowns to Christmas. They have Velcro on there. So they had this adorable snowman, Santa Claus, and a reindeer. Above here, they have these signs. I believe they had these last year. Now, you can only spray um, hairspray on the glitter so it doesn't shed everywhere. There's their little tinsel trailer, which is really cute this year. And the little happy elf down here. And the adorable penguin. And the Nutcracker over there, but these stars kind of caught me off guard here. They are pretty good size, and they have a baby star hanging from it. They had it in three different colors. And look at this ginormous glittery snowflake. Wow, that thing's huge. And then over here, they have some other decor, which I do believe they had last year. But I know a lot of you are new, so I like to show you on what else they have for you to decorate your home. There's all their tinsel, and those are nine feet long. Different colors to choose from. And right over here... They have these cute little sleighs, which they had last year. They have it in silver and red. Now, I made little gnomes um, the other year and put them in the little sleigh. All right, going on to this aisle, which has a lot of their DIY items. So I'm going to start right over here and see what catches my eye. Oh, they have these bells again this year. So they have it in three different colors, and this set is a pack of 50. And over here, this is a pack of 20. I'm getting a little bit bigger. Oh, and this one. This is a 32 count. And then the big boys. You get six of them in there. Look how adorable these bows are. Merry Christmas. You get two per pack. I come back and show you the size in just a second. And then they have this really big bow, which you get one per pack. There is the size, a 9 by 15. And then back over to... Oh, wait. There's the other one right there. That one's cute. Okay, back to the smaller ones. So they are 5.5 by 7.9 inch. And they're made really well. Oh, look at here. You get a three pack and it's a 1.76 ounce. So it has like the neutral color, red and green. This is felt garland. It's six pieces. So they have Santa and a snowman. Well, this is a cute little kit, ages five and up. It's a 48 piece, and you can make three ornaments. How adorable. And that's the only one I was able to find, and those are by Crafter Square. And there's the pom-poms. You get an 80 count. Oh, my gosh, look at this. 50-piece pom-pom craft kit. Oh, it's a reindeer. 
and so fluffy. Oh, they have the snowflakes. They have a couple of different ones, and these things are huge. I think they're like 12 by 12, I think. And here's some more of their wood crafts. Some of the ribbon down there. Now I'm just turning around to go on the other side. There's the cute little camper sign. And then they have the red truck down here. Make sure you check your berries. On the tree, that is. Joy to the world. Peace on earth. And believe in the magic of Christmas. There's their little tinsel truck they had last year. There's the snowflakes. You get three of them. Oh, and they have these again this year. Now, this Santa did not want to work, but I do find one that does work. Now, these are about four by three. Let me check a different one for you. These are really, really cute. I have a couple of the snowmen. See? Comes with the batteries, and they change colors. I love those. Now, if the batteries ever go dead, they do sell um, the batteries there at the Dollar Tree. There's the elf, Santa, and a snowman. Ooh, look at these new signs. They look like gift tags. And they have some greenery there on top with a bow. So you have peace with the uh, Christmas tree, joy with the snowflake, and Noel of a deer. And of course, they have their black and red checker coffee mugs. And these are really heavy, too. This is my favorite Christmas song. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Hey, some more tinsel. Nine feet. And I love this tinsel they have every year. It's a little bit shorter. It's seven feet, but it just reminds me of the Grinch. <gasps> Whoa, this totally caught me off guard. Look at these gnome signs. These are 22 and a half by five. What? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, and this one kind of lonely oven mitt. Well, there's actually two, but this is all that's left for the Thanksgiving. These are cute. You put a little tea light on the back. I would recommend a fake tea light, but they have it in silver, gold, and white. Very sparkly. Lots of glitter. Oh, the cobblestone houses and buildings are back in stock. You put a fake tea light in there for the windows to glow. There's the little toy village. These are really cute. You can always paint them. And those are the two they had over here. And they only had two different packs of the figurines. And the faces actually look kind of normal than last year. And then they had that pack. That's all they had. But over here on the end cap, they had the church, which was absolutely beautiful. That would even be cute if you spray paint it gold. And here is the cobblestone candy shop. Yes! And there they are. Am I missing any? Let me know. Oh, here's some more little ornaments for your little tree. There are six sparkly pine cones. These are one of my favorite ornaments here. They do come with the batteries and they are really, really cool icicle lights. Oh, look at these tree toppers. So they have the black and white and the black and red with the gold. Nice. And of course, they keep getting more and more of their gift bags. I did not go through all of them, so I'm just showing you what they had up front here. Look at their cute little treat bags. You get 15 per pack, and look at here, we have a gnome. There's Santa, and a cute little reindeer with some trees and a present. Ooh, this camper one's really cute. And they had this Christmas sign. I love the colors on it. And they also have these signs in the shape of a sled. 
So these have uh, the three little snowmen. And this one has Santa and a reindeer with some candy canes. There's a tinsel uh, Christmas stocking. I almost forgot what it was called. And Santa's hat. Here's some new gift boxes over here by the Party Goods. They come in three different sizes. So they have this unicorn, live a happy life, love the rainbow one, dream big, and this striped box. Again, they come in three different sizes. Oh, for all those Blue's Clues fans, this is a 24 piece by Nickelodeon. Yes, my oldest daughter, that's 25, grew up with uh, Blue's Clues. It came out that year she was born. Oh, here's some more of that glitter tape stuff. These are heavy duty, and this one's purple. The last one I found last week was blue. Okay, I did spray a little bit. I don't like spraying stuff, but I really wanted to test the scent, and oh my gosh, I wish I never sprayed this. Both of them smell horrible that's just my that's my opinion it's a two ounce bottle some of you might like it so no yeah. here's a picture frame that looks like leather four by six Ooh, look at these these are cool i put little tea lights in there if you want kind of see my reflection there they had gold and rose gold they have the Buddha statues again. These are heavy duty. They're like concrete. And I think it was just that one style. Unless I'm missing something. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Look at the gnome. Look at the gnome. This is a four and a half by two. What? And look at the doggy. And it has the designs on both sides. And these are made so well. And look at the chicken. Or rooster, whatever that is. Oh, so cute. Oh, and look at these trinket trays. Holy cow, these things were heavy. Those are really cute. And actually, there's two different ones. Thought I was hallucinating there for a minute. But see, two different designs. Ooh, look at this new greenery. Fancy. Snow greenery. Well, that's plain and simple. But wow, very nice quality. And look at this. It doesn't look so cheap. I like that. Superstar Sticks, chicken flavor dog chews. Ooh, they have these containers in. There's four different colors. These things are ginormous and amazing. And I always tell you guys, if you ever come across these baskets, make sure that there's two per pack. See that little tie thing there? They are supposed to sell these two per pack. This is a little travel set of the cotton rounds. You get 30 of them. It gets a little baby. Oh, look, I found the mom. This, you get an 80 count. Why wouldn't you just get that? I don't know. But, oh, look at their fall cups. I love these. And, of course, it has a gnome. So, yes, this did come home with me. But I, I, I promised myself I would not buy any more cups. But I'm sorry. The gnome got me. I think this green is absolutely beautiful. And, of course, the teal. Which was my dad's favorite color. Love these cups. All right, if you like to use shot glasses, they have some new ones. Bottoms up, here's us, cheer y'all. They have some new colors in their mixing bowls by Cooking Concepts. These do have a rubber bottom, so it grips on the counter. Um, I wouldn't put something really heavy in there, but they have it in blue, gray, two different shades of red, and white. Ooh, look at these little door hanger things with the bells. Yes, I went back over to the Christmas stuff. Look at that. Very nice. 
And then I had a really stretch to get up there to show you the candy one. And their neighbor is right down here, the poinsettia with all red bells. Well, since I'm over here, might as well show you these too. These are the door covers. You get one per pack, a 30 by 60. Now you don't have to put it on your door. You could put it on your wall. I bought one of these a couple years ago and I put it on my wall upstairs in the hallway by the kids' room. So I'm going to dig through here and don't worry, I do put them back. I am someone that always puts the stuff back when I take it out. So if we all could do that, I think a lot of our stores would look much better. Just a thought. Boy, it's really raining here. Holy cow. We don't lose our electricity. Oh, here's some new stringery, uh, string lights. They do take two AA batteries. You get 10 lights per strand. <gasps> oh, look at these bottles, you guys. These are four and a half by two. Yes, I get so excited. Look at the little charms on there. You get the little heart lock and the key. They have it in the white and the black. These are amazing. Here's some Halloween wine glasses for those that are still shopping for Halloween goods. And they have some new candles. Yeah, I didn't really care for the scent, but again, that's just my opinion. These are three ounces. Most of all their Dollar Tree candles are three ounces. Sometimes they have bigger ones. Ooh, I like this one. This is the fragrance oil. It smells like Christmas tree. Oh, these are the little fidget things that I hauled in my last video. Some of you asked. And these are the two sets that they had. The bracelet and the little popper thing. Here's Pinkie Pie, my little pony ginormous pen. They have some uh, snowflake ornaments in different sizes, actually, in different shapes. You get a six pack in here. And then down here you get ten, so they're a little bit smaller. And these are bigger, and you get three per pack. Here are some of their Christmas bags here on the end cap by their party goods. Always be sure you check all their end caps. And also, they have these wine glasses. I think they're wine glasses. Is that what you use them for? Or champagne? I don't know. I don't drink, so. They have that one as well. And then their neighbors right downstairs there. They have these. What are these called? Not flutes. I don't know what they're called. Christmas cheer. Not too nice. I tried. That one's cute. And these are glass, not the plastic. Okay. Good sleep fast dream water original. Please educate me on what this is. That's a 2.5 ounce. Couldn't read the fine print. Just reminds me how blind I really am. So yes, please educate me on this. I don't understand it. Sleeping water? Whoa! Look at this to-do list. Do it now, do it later. This thing is ginormous. I have so many things to do every single day, so that's a perfect size for me, I guess. And then they had just the planner. Here's some cute stickers. You get 33 of them by Jot. Ja, Jot, ja, you rock. And they're very sparkly. I think that's about all they had over here. Nothing too exciting. They have these mason jars with their long handles. They have the clear, yellow, a burnt orange kind of color, and blue. I can't remember if these are new prints or not, but these are like the hollow wood pictures. So just in case, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I've gone through so many pictures in the past week, I can't remember if these are new or not. So I apologize if they are not new and I'm showing you something that they've already had. And these are the six different ones they had. Sorry for the glare. Well, these are little creepy little boogers. Skeleton, unicorn, and uh, seahorse. Inter interesting choice there. Here's some more of their ribbon. These look more like they should be for like Easter or something. I don't know. Not complaining because they're gnome. 
Here's some more tea lights. They have them in this beautiful blue, peach, and blue. Um, yeah, I love the box. Okay, I smelt it, and that is a huge N O. My opinion, once again. I think these candles are cool. Look like a honeycomb. Here's some of their gift tags. You get 25 per pack. I um, prefer these kind of tags than the sticky ones because they seem to always fall off. But these are the two sets I had. I like how they came out with some of these Christmas boxes with the confetti on the top. Because they always have these, uh, you know, for birthdays and that. Or special occasions like congratulations and that. But I think these are really, really cute. And you can keep using them year after year. As long as no one squashes them. I have no idea what team this is. But thought I would show you. Here's a four pack of toothbrush cases. Hanging on the plastic strip. Oh, look at up here by the register. They have all of these Christmas CDs. There's Fisher Price ones. How cute is that? Be a great um, baby shower gift. Make up a little basket and add some of these uh, CDs. Ooh, piano one. Chicago. Look at that. Target exclusive. But yeah, these are up by the register, so be sure you check down every checkout lane and every plastic strip because you never know what you might find. Two hundred and fifty styling girls ponytail holder things. They look like miniature sweatbands. Cute. Two different colors or two different sets. And here's some of the fancy pantyhose that I hauled my last video. I think these are from Kohl's. Could be wrong, but they're actually pretty heavy too. And they had, a, I think they were all in black. Yeah, I think all the tights were black. Okay, well, that's the end of our $2 tree trips. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list if you want. I want you to go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find it one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you would like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link that down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Thursday. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.